That would be fun. What are you going to do for the 4th of July? Sleep. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we have to work Friday morning, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really fun sleeping with all the fireworks going off. Oh, you know, yeah. See, that. what I did last time was I went home, immediately took a nap, my husband woke me up, and we went to go see fireworks and then went back to bed. I remember that. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll do that again. Hopefully, you have big <laughs> plans for the 4th, but the big question is, are we going to be able to see the fireworks? Is it going to be cloudy? Yeah. Is it going to be sunny? I know, because it flipped a switch, and just like that, it's a dreary day. Right. It's chilly compared to the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. No, it's not going to last through the 4th of July, so well, that's exciting, news. right? Although, we do need the rain, Amity, because we are in a drought. And of course, anything you know that could spark a fire would be bad. So just be very careful. If you're going to do your own fireworks in an area that you're allowed to do it, make sure you have water nearby. But here is a live look outside from Salties on Alki, and you can see just a dreary start to the day. A lot of you probably ran into wet roads or even showers themselves as you were heading to work, but. A lot of us are actually getting a break. There are still some scattered showers from that area of low pressure that moved in, but now we're starting to see some showers moving in from a weak front from the north. That will continue to push towards the south, and that will keep showers in the forecast through the remainder of this afternoon and into this evening. So just something to be mindful of. Driving home from work, you'll probably see wet roads again. So let's put the clock into motion, and you can see that we are going to keep those showers, and again, off and on, so you'll get some breaks here and there. Notice those clouds sticking around as well. Well, as we go into your Wednesday, it'll probably start out dreary. We'll probably have lots of cloud cover, some drizzle, and even some light precipitation. But then as we go throughout the afternoon and evening, notice how that clears up. Another thing I want to mention is the chance for a couple thunderstorms today. But mainly in the mountains. And then everything should really start to clear out, though, like I said, by tomorrow afternoon, evening. So if you're going to Paulsbo for the third, they do their fireworks on the third. It should be good by the, uh, by the evening. And then also, Fourth of July itself is looking even better because we'll continue to warm up and continue to dry out. All right, let's take a look at those temperatures outside right now. If you joined us this morning, these temperatures have barely budged. It was mid to upper 50s for the majority of you. Um, Renton was really the only spot that hit 60 during the morning. Show. Now we do have a few other spots in the low 60s, but you get the idea. We're kind of staying status quo because those clouds are acting as a blanket and just keeping things as is. We're not getting that sun uh, penetrating to really warm things up at all. So do like Colby here. Stay in your bed. It's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the rest of the afternoon and evening. And again, scattered showers in the forecast. And I know my dogs don't like wet paws. So a lot of them, maybe during this break, <laughs> go and let them out if you can. But later, you might be running into a few more showers. And then, yeah, get this. Highs today only in the mid to upper 60s. So definitely below normal. 73 is where we should be this time of year. Here's your mountain forecast. A mix of rain and snow showers, but that snow level is at 9,000 feet. So no issues there, but you could run into a rumble of thunder or two, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. And we can't completely rule out a thunderstorm, an isolated one in the lowlands, but most of the instability looks to stay in the mountains right now. And then notice, again, decreasing showers in the morning tomorrow, already warming things back up. And then, of course, by Thursday, 4th of July itself, looking spectacular, mid-70s, going to see more sunshine. And then, of course, I have your fireworks forecast coming up in just well, a bit. Literally 10 degrees difference in just a day. Yeah. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Mm -hmm. we'll come